my concentration, concentrating on this uncallless phone. Right. Waiting for a call from a six hour away penitentiary. Incarceration wasn't a life that was lawfully given to me. It adopted me. And the hardest time I have ever done was dated back to December 04, the 16th, when the case was done and he had to depart himself away from me. It was like misery just kept on chasing me. See, I can deal with loss and death, cause in that I can conquer. But to tease my heart with distance and bars is like face shall now just stop her. Go ahead, stomp her. Strip of all pride and joy that you yourself can come to acknowledge. With no knowledge of how to rid herself of all this pain of living life which to her is living in vain. I'm talking powerless. Hmm. I wish she could hear this. What is the meaning of life if I can't breathe what I choose to dare in this not just oxygen? I want to inhale his exhale air. He is my livelihood. And for that without him I feel bare, unaware that my flesh is still attached even though us two have been misplaced, mismatched. I am losing me. See, I loved him for so long and so strong that without him, everything seems wrong. Despite what you can measure or not, I tell you I love this long. I had to write the judge and tell him he done done me wrong. It was return FedEx with a CD or that fucked up song. They got me locked up. Won't let me out. And us two, we remained in our I'm talking bars, deck, streets, and miles apart. I'm taking a six-hour ride, a six-hour drive before the sunrise, just to get there and have enough time to utilize and ease my mind. And when I look in his eyes, I read, I want to touch you. Huh. I wish I could wish this love for you. But I remain here all alone. With all my concentration, concentrating on this uncoolest phone. I'm waiting for a call from a six hour away Vienna penitentiary. And all I can do is kind of fucked up because all I can say is that I wish he was here with me. Bye, y'all. Clap, y'all. Clap. <laughs> That's okay. I'm finna rally it up a bit for y'all right now. Cause then he got out. <laughs> yeah. I became his love addict. And no matter how many times he broke my heart, I was persistent at keeping at it. And it wasn't any fun. It was like playing Russian roulette with a loaded gun. This nigga is fucking killing me. <laughs> with all his shenanigans and philosophy on why it is that he do what he do. Found my hands around his throat when he said she don't nag as much as you. <laughs> as you can see, it's beginning to be kind of problematic. I'm stuck getting fucked being love's addict, pushing at it. When the 12 steps, the final test is to keep the shitty habit. But I keep home, keeping on, keeping at it. Until I found my strut. Three sips later, I was packing this stuff. Got tough. I'm talking like, with all the bullshit you done took me through. All the ups and downs, and now here it is, you through. <laughs> Bounce on me, baby. See, cause I'ma do whatever it is to get you back. Just so I could be the one to say peace and get you back. You're damn right I'm petty like that. After all the time I put in and invested in this shit. Now she comes along with this papers and court trips. Look at me, baby. Who you think you're playing with? I don't understand what you mean I got too much lip. Hell, I know that. And you did too. But new for JJ comes around and it's not news to you. Jassiness. I like that. But your pickup line to me. So I took it, pimped it as if 
if it was a goddamn necessity. Hey, you don't get to throw that back at me. Had me holding on to you for dear life. Now you in my face with this relationship ain't right. For four years, you ain't been my type. Funny how I love you, but ain't shit about you I like. Hey, 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 hey. I said, funny how I love you, but ain't shit about you I like. And now you want to just leave me this way. I guess that's what that mean by the jokes on you, because I could have left your sorry ass yesterday. Of course you mad you less than me, goofy. She ain't got as much invested in you as me. Loneliness is not sexiness and my acceptance is belligerent. You think she gives a damn about you when she can care less about herself. She's sleeping with my husband because she can't do better for herself. Kudos to you though. For housebreaking your rat. God is good because I'm not built like that. Leave it up to you. You have me sound like one of Tyler Perry's for color girls. Somebody didn't walk. Oh, now I'm a hoe. You too much. All right, thank y'all. Thank y'all.